It is honestly shocking to me that they did not try harder to put this in theaters. My dad has heard about this remake for years and was like, when's that new Roadhouse coming out? Because all of the dads would have went and saw this movie in theaters because that original movie is the definition of cool. <laughs> Roadhouse stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor and is about ex-UFC fighter Dalton takes a job as a bouncer at a Florida Keys Roadhouse, only to discover that his paradise is not all that it seems. From director Doug Liman, who brought you The Born Identity and Edge of Tomorrow comes Roadhouse, the 2024 version. I was really intrigued on this movie. When they announced that Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be starring it and you got Doug Liman, I was like, oh. Okay, so we're actually putting some effort into this movie, I would assume. Then I heard it was only going to be on Prime, and I was like, that's disappointing. And like I said, I thought this movie could have done really good in theaters. Like, not Top Gun Maverick numbers, but I think this movie could have done really well in theaters. And so here we are, streaming the movie, and I can clearly tell you... If you're a die-hard fan of Roadhouse, this one is probably going to be an okay watch. But if you've never seen Roadhouse... I don't know how you're going to react. Now, as a person that has seen Roadhouse, I can tell you this movie is serviceable as a remake. It is a fun enough action movie on streaming service this weekend that I think a lot of you can enjoy. And the biggest pause I can take away is Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, Patrick Swayze is Patrick Swayze. He is Dalton in my eyes, but Jake Gyllenhaal does a really good job. In the original movie, Patrick Stacey's character really is like saying it forward, be nice, take it outside. In this movie, Dalton's character, Jake Gyllenhaal, is not going to tell you to his face. He's just going to act nice. He's going to be nice. And he's also not going to come as a bouncer. This character of Dawn is an ex-UFC fighter that after certain events have happened, he's kind of just on the brinks of death. And so he gets his job offer and he's like, yeah, I guess I'll do it. And this one's set in Florida. The other movie, I forget where it was set, but it was not in Florida. And in this movie, I think Jake Gyllenhaal does a really good job as Dalton. He knows exactly how to balance like that charisma, that fun, that nice, that sarcastic good guy in this movie. And Swayze, I believe, will always be Dalton in the way of like how a bouncer was in Roadhouse. But this one just definitely feels like Doug Lyman was like, there's some fight sequences we can do. And Jake Gyllenhaal is jacked and good for that man. I think most of this cast, we'll get to a certain individual, is very good in this movie. Everyone like fits the role. Everyone does their part well enough. And when these fight scenes are happening, I mean, there are some knuckle Brone breaking. I mean, it's exactly what you want to see in this movie. And once you get Karma McGregor in this movie, man, it was so weird seeing McGregor in a movie, in a role. And really, he's not acting. He's doing McGregor as a bodyguard that's kind of going to beat up Jake Gyllenhaal, which is what you want to see in this movie, and you do get it. This is where I get very picky about certain things. How these fights are done. Now, like I said, they're they're entertaining, but how the camera moves with the bodies of our actors and how it transitions into different angles, you can first off tell they're doing cuts in that part. They try to do like a one motion thing, but you can tell green screen is added to like the the floorings or like the walls they get banged into because these act they're not going to throw Jake Gyllenhaal into a wall or into like a table. No, that's a green screen. But when these fight scenes are happening, how the camera moves with that effect, it's jarring. It's like in your face. It's like, uh, like I'm a little disappointed because like John Wick, you get some awesome fight sequences. And then in this movie, a movie that's literally about fist fighting and just fighting in a bar Kind of disappointed. I mean, it's still entertaining, but, like, it's really noticeable. Like, hugely, when it comes to CGI, CGI is not great in this movie. The whole boat attack scene at the end, my god, that fire and that explosions. And there's a scene where a truck tries to run over Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, I like the idea what the camera's doing in that scene. It's cool, but it's really noticeable green screen. I mean, it's like, oh... Maybe this is why it's streaming. I don't know. But it, it, it does come to a factor of like, it's entertaining to look at, but it's not, it could have been better in my opinion. I, I'm a little disappointed in the fight scenes, or the fist fights in this movie. But let's talk about it. McGregor, he's in the movie and he fist, physically fits the role. 
I think his acting, like I said, he is McGregor. So if you want to see McGregor, you're going to see McGregor. And that's what you're going to get. He can either ruin this movie for you or as a person that does watch UFC and knows about Conor McGregor, I, I enjoyed it. There's one line in particular, if fans of UFC, you're going to laugh out loud at what he says. It's really funny, poke fun joke. But in the end, overall, 2024 Roadhouse was better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I think overall it could have been better, especially in the fighting department. But in the end, it's two hours of just charisma Jake Gyllenhaal in a movie that could have been better, but it's still entertaining. I'm going to give Roadhouse a B-. minus. So, what is your opinion? Have you seen the original and have you watched this one? Compare them. You're allowed to. It's a remake. So don't get at me. It's like, it's no, but they're, they're. no, it's a remake of Roadhouse. Come on. I do wish we would have got Sam Elliott. There was not even a Sam Elliott character like that in this movie. I was like, oh, been cool to see like that, you know? And you guys, you guys enjoy this movie review. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.